Get ready to squeal with delight because we found the cutest games to play on PC right now. We here at Logitech G like all kinds of games. We love a fast-paced action adventure as much as the next gamer, but sometimes you just want to hunker down on a Sunday afternoon with something cute that won't test your brain too much and won't cause you to have PT-level nightmares for weeks afterwards. It wouldn't hurt if there were some kind of furry friend, soft color palette, or woodland setting either, would it? We're going to serve you a big, steaming hot cup of adorable with the cutest games you can play on PC right now. Before we jump in, allow us to show you the cutest gaming headset out there right now, the G435. It comes in some seriously sweet colorways and can now connect to your Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch for cute gaming on the go. It's always nice when a game title lets you know exactly what to expect, doesn't it? Frog Detective, Lawn Mower Simulator, and new addition to the list, Little Witch in the Woods. This recently released indie is a quaint and endearing pixel art adventure, where you play as an apprentice witch living in the woods who has to forage for ingredients to make their many potions. Little Witch in the Woods is a cozy 2D experience that'll have you exploring the world, meeting a whole host of villagers, and uncovering all the mysteries the woods hold. Think Stardew Valley, but roughly 97% witchier, and you get the idea. Next up, we've got Tunic an isometric RPG where you play as the bravest little fox there ever was. Armed with a sword and shield, you'll venture into a gorgeous world full of relics, puzzles, and big old bosses. Just because we said it's cute doesn't mean it's easy, okay? You might be adorable, but you've got to be deadly too, as you block, parry, and swing with those fuzzy little paws. Tunic has an ingenious little mechanic too, where you progress the game and unlock new abilities, by reconstructing an old-school instruction manual. Cute and clever. That's the total package. You probably don't need us to explain what makes Calico so cute, although here's a hint. They have nine lives and four sets of toe beans. So we're just gonna talk over the gameplay whilst you enjoy the pastel adorableness of this chilled-out cat cafe management game. <gasps> Oh, so fuzzy! Now that is adorable. Imagine your childhood coloring book dreams come to life, and you're probably picturing something a lot like Chicory, a colorful tale. You'll probably also find your painting skills are just as bad as they were in your childhood, too, come to think of it. In Chicory, you play as, well, who you play as depends on what your favorite food is, actually, which in our case is spaghetti. Let's try that again. In Chicory, you play as Spaghetti, a happy little dog who works as a janitor, but is forced to become the wielder of a magical paintbrush when they discover all color has vanished from the world. You'll meet a host of cute characters, traverse a cute storybook world. Come to think of it, the only thing that isn't cute are our painting skills. Yeah, not our best work. <laughs> If you're after your daily dose of cute but don't have much time to spare, Takoni is a tiny and free little adventure that you can finish before you've even finished your morning coffee. It's a charming little point-and-click game with a gorgeous full color palette and art style that you're going to wish you could live in. Solve puzzles as the fuzzy-headed Takoni, fruity, and generally have a lovely time in this gentle little gem. Calming, cute, comforting, a short hike is the perfect choice for when you need the video game equivalent of a little kiss on the head and the assurance that it's all going to be okay. There's so much to love about this unforgettable indie that we're going to have a hard time fitting it into one entry. You'll be playing as Claire the Bird, who needs to hike to the top of a mountain so she can get some cell service. 
What you'll find, though, is you aren't nearly as determined to get those bars as you are meeting every single adorable little character on the island. From frogs building sandcastles to mice relaxing by campfires, the more you explore, the more quirky characters you'll come across. This is a short but endearing game with a brilliant sense of humor that you'll want to replay again and again. It wouldn't be a list of the cutest games without some family-friendly farming thrown in now, would it? Turns out, though, that we've already mentioned Stardew Valley on this channel so many times, even Mayor Lewis is starting to think we might need to spend a bit of time elsewhere. So we're opting for Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. It's the perfect addition to the franchise, so you can harvest those R's and live the dream in a plot full of chickens, sheep, and the roundest cows you've ever seen. Just look at those big boys. Donut County is a deceptive one. It's cute in the same way you might find a honey badger cute. Nice to look at from the safety of a Google image search, you wouldn't want to get up close and personal for a cuddle. In Donut County, you sort of play as BK, an adorable little raccoon who is in control of an increasingly large hole that's swallowing everyone and everything in this unassuming little town. But primarily, you play as the whole. So cute, yes, but also an absolute menace who is now forced to confront everyone he has swallowed in his remote-controlled hole. Another simple but joyful game that does exactly what it sets out to do. In Bun House, you play as a rabbit who runs a greenhouse. Once you've customized your big-eared bun, you get to plant and water seeds and tend to all things green. If you don't spend the entire time pretending it's a rabbit simulator and just hopping about, which would be totally forgiven, by the way. You'll order new seeds and sell your successful produce at a little stall. If you fancy something straightforward and lop-eared, Bun House has got you covered. Cute name? Check. Cute animal pals? Check. Cute shy frog who's looking for the ingredients to host a tea party? Bit of a niche request, but check. Teacup is a freshly brewed cup of whimsy that's all about completing tasks for the characters you meet uh -huh. in exchange for help gathering everything you need to put on a tea party to remember. If you want something charmingly wholesome that you can complete in a single sitting over a pot of your favorite tea, then pop on the kettle and download Teacup. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're showing our bias a little bit here with this last entry, because there's also technically a cat version of the same game but dogs reign supreme this time as we bring you Dogs Organize Neatly. Maybe just mentally replace the word dog with cat if you prefer your puzzle games to poop in your neighbor's backyards and knead you like a ball of dough. In this relaxing puzzler, you'll be, you guessed it, organizing dogs neatly. Man's best friend comes in all shapes and sizes, and you'll be trying to make sure there's room for everyone from Layla to Garibaldi, who went viral on TikTok, by the way, before you move on to the next level. Poof, we might just need to lie down after all that cute. Let us know which of these games you'll be cozying down to play first. If you think you can outcue our suggestions, feel free to try in the comments below. And as always, make sure to join the community by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Perhaps even throw in a like if you enjoyed the video. Now we're off to rest our vocal cords, saying ah oh, really takes it out of you. 